Uh, let me clarify in case anyone get any no put me back three put me back three but want to see your face put me back three but want... <laughs> you're not gonna hide behind <laughs> you're not gonna hide you're not you're not gonna hide behind your computer laugh <laughs> people need this <laughs> all right so let me clarify I didn't say if you have your people that you and them are make life and you get the opportunity and go overseas, you must forget about them and never look back at them. I never said that. I said if you on the internet and you find someone in another country that you never met, you have never seen, you don't know them, and you go down there for a week and they shower you with love and all of that, do not come back and talk about that person is your fiancé and decide say you're going to maintain that person. And I'm not talking about any particular gender. It could be a male, it could be a female. Do not send your money down there and tell that, tell yourself that is your fiance. Most likely is a scam. That's what I'm saying. If someone down there and they must scam someone, of course they might go disagree. But I'm looking out for the person that's sending their money naive and think that that person is their fiance. That's what I'm saying. The next thing again. I've been traveling for 25 years. I know what it is like to live in a foreign country and work. The next thing that I'm saying, it costs a lot of money to, to, to bring people from Jamaica back into America. I, I'm speaking about America. It costs thousands of dollars. I literally know people who went bankrupt trying to do it. Just to talk with a lawyer alone. Just to talk. Not, not even... To, for them to take the case. You're talking about consultation alone can run you a couple hundred. Just for them to just to talk to them, for them to tell you, okay, what you need to do. Just a couple hundred. And chances are the person back home not sending a dollar. So you're investing in someone that you even hardly even know. So I'm saying, let's say as a man, let's say as a man you work very, very hard and you build yourself as a man and you have your house couple of vehicle, nice retirement saving. You maybe had an ex-wife where you had some children with that ex-wife. So you build yourself and you tell yourself, okay, this house, all of this, I'm going to leave for my children. You now go and you find someone in another country. You bring them here without knowing them. They, chances are you're going to divorce. 80% of divorce, um, marriage ending divorce. And that's when you know the person. So imagine someone that you don't even know. Okay, the person divorced you. Chances are you have a lot to lose. They might want half of your house. So there goes the house that you work all your years in America for. They, you might have to give up one of your vehicles or even two of your vehicles or whatever to her. Plus, she might need alimony. And if whoever in Jamaica don't understand what alimony means, they can Google it. So... You have everything to lose. And that's for male and female. I'm just talking from a man perspective because women can't pay all the money too. Because if the person come up and decide that they're not, they, they don't want to work, that is, all right, let me go even further. That is why when a person files for someone, you have to prove to the government that you can take care of the person. And that's why people have to get half a day with that support. So if that person decides that they're going to, uh, go for welfare or get government assistance, you are stuck with it. The government can then come at you, even though you and the person no longer together. The, per the government can come at you and say, listen, you owe all these money. So imagine the, 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 the problem that you can find, your financial strain after losing your house and everything, and the person go on government benefit, you're still left holding the bag. Cause that you, you're, old, you're responsible that for that person until that person becomes citizen, possibly. So there's a lot to it than just, oh, find someone and file for them. And it, it's too much, it's too risky. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not trying to stifle nobody food. I'm not trying, you know, to to any of that. But if a person is don't want to listen and they feel like, oh, I see this person on the internet and I'm going to file for them and they're my love of my life just because you spend a week with them. Okay, go ahead. But all I'm saying, I stand on everything that I say. Long distance relationship, it doesn't work. And if it do work, you have too much to lose to invest in someone that you don't even know. And I'm not talking about people who've been together 
and then one migrate and help the next one. I'm all for helping people, but come at what cost? You can be helping someone that you don't even know. And I'll go further to say, that is why Western Union and MoneyGram even have so much stipulation. They actually ask you, do you know the person that you are sending the money to? Did the person promise you anything? They ask you a whole bunch of questions. And if you yeah. try to send to too much people, they block you. And it's not like they care about you sending your money. No, but they really know that scam take place. People naive. So they have to protect people from their own self. You don't even know the person you're sending thousands of dollars for them. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about. All right. And so I stand I guess me, Okay, all right. So I guess maybe everybody understand that now and know exactly what. It, um, yes. If you are a person in America and way. you're doing financially well, it's, never, it, 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 it's too risky. You could end up losing your house, everything that you work for, just by bringing All someone right. here. So hold on, Nicole. Let, let, let me bring in Tain you now. So Tain, I know you wasn't here last week still, but do you agree with um with what Owe is saying? Um, unmute your mic, Tain. I was def I was listening to him carefully, and uh, pretty much all that he stated it was facts. Let me be honest. So even if I don't agree, when you state facts, you cannot dispute the facts. You know what I mean? What may I say? So, I mean, a whole heap of people, a lots of people get caught up in that for real. And one week, like he said, my boo and fiance and the rest of my life story, you know, it, it works. And there are exceptions to every rule, Chris, as we know. <clears throat> You can line up 10 people out there. You have, to have 10 different experience, right? And you're going to find that one that it work out for, right? But majority of the times, yeah, it ain't about nothing for real. It really ain't. It really ain't. And he's right even about the affidavit of support. Until that person become a citizen, or and he said it, the one he saying don't even plan to work. If they work for if they work for forty quarters, then you 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 off the hook, or they become a U.S. citizen. But if he said they don't plan to work, you, you you could be set up. You can't set up yourself. But we know people. We know our people best, right? So when some when 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 an expert is speaking, we have to listen. That's what I believe. All right. Hey, Tain, are the undiluted? Huh? Unfiltered, it's the truth. Thing. She knows when it, it's the truth. When, when him if talking you have time, a lot to lose, when you're talking, you know, you're gonna lose if you have house, car, well established. You have a lot, a lot. You could find yourself homeless. Let me be honest, you could find yourself homeless by picking up the wrong person, and that's for mm -hmm. men and women alike because the man can come up and like, I'm not gonna work and I'm gonna divorce you, and I need all the money, especially if you're making a lot of money. The judge mm -hmm. gonna give them because you're responsible. People will okay. People have asked me to sign affidavit of support for them, and I said no. I would never do that because if that person decides they don't want to work and go to any benefit, I'm, I mean, I'm just talking about just go to Medicaid just to get free health insurance. You're responsible for that. The government will come to you that sign it. You don't have to be in a relationship. You that sign that affidavit of support. You sign that with the intention that you're going to support that person. And every person who files for someone that comes to America sign that paper that they're going to support them. So you can't backtrack on that. So a person can stay in Jamaica and say, oh, you're trying to stop the person, your food, and everybody deserve a chance. Okay, 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 okay. But what about the person here? Do you know what they're going through? If that person decides to leave or the person decides to say, oh, you're making enough money. I'm not going to work. I'm just going to be stay, stay here and be cute. I'm not going to work. You can't force them to work. You can't. And well, if you no. And if you divorce, they can say they want alimony. And you have to take care of them because the law says the way how the person lived while they were with you, while just like how you take care of them when you was married, is the same way they have to live a certain quality when you divorce them. You can't be like, oh, you was working, but I was taking care of you. Now that you leave, I'm not going to give you anything. Just going to award alimony. They will. All right. Well, at the end of the day, people, it's loud and it's clear. So everybody then can say they don't understand right all right so people please like and share like and share 